couple weeks away from it actually being fall. I'm wearing orange today in honor of like my favorite month, October, coming up. I have a bunch of decor coming in for just like general house decor, but I feel like the theme of my house could give fall any time of the year because I just prefer like those darker colors. Dark Academia is like my favorite decor ever. I don't know if my house necessarily gives that vibe, but you get what I'm saying. So since I have to put all that together, new rugs and all that kind of stuff, I thought I would also just decorate my house for fall. We're close enough, okay? I don't care that it's still August and I don't have that much fall decor anyway. So we're just gonna decorate for fall today and I could not be more excited. I just had a little mini panic attack because I checked my front porch and there was nothing and it said the packages were delivered. They put them in front of my garage, which is so random. So I guess I'll just go bring them in through the garage. item I'm so excited about. It is a hallway rug. I really want to like decorate this hallway because it does feel pretty bare right now, but I feel like this would be the first step to just making it feel like cozy and homey. I did do all my measurements before I ordered anything, but I still get nervous of like if it'll be the right size, if it's kind of the vibe that I wanted. I hope I like it because I did get a rug for my office that is very similar in style. All right, here's the moment. Oh, it's really soft. Oh my gosh. Oh! I didn't expect it to be that soft. It's so cute. I am obsessed. Maybe it's stupid, but I do feel like this already added a very cozy, homey vibe and less echo. This giant thing is our next item. And if you watched my office remodel, you probably know what this is. It is my new reading chair. Same thing in here. Like I said, I got a rug for the office. So it's a little echoey in here, not very cozy, but once that rug gets in and I get this chair set up, it's gonna be so cozy in here. But for today, the chair obviously is here. The rug's not here yet, so let's put this thing together. I hope it's just like two things I have to put together, nothing crazy. Oh my gosh, okay, it's already put together. It's so cute. This is the pillow that came with it. I don't love the pillow. I can use the pink one or some green one, but I do love the chair. This is so much more comfortable than that other chair I was in. Yay! So this was kind of one of my ideas of where to put the chair, but I was also thinking about just putting it against my bookshelf. Even though it's a little weird, then my bookshelves would be my background. I'm kind of thinking I should get hooks for these curtains so they don't like get all in the way. Honestly, I don't even need a pillow. That's for aesthetics. What do we think? I did some reorganization. I think I like it. Option to move this lamp back here. I love this lamp, so I love the idea of it being here. I'll probably have to move this lamp somewhere else then, because that's weird to have two lamps. I did have a desk like in front of the closet, and I decided to move it over here into like an L desk situation. I could also move that one out of here, but I want to give this a try, then I have more workspace. Then I can film in this direction, shut the blinds, or at nighttime, and this is like a nice backdrop. And I'm thinking for like my book channel and stuff. <laughs> or now we also have a chair here to film this way. The one thing I'm a little disappointed in when it comes to this chair is the back is really low so it's not really like an oversized which I knew it wouldn't be and there's enough room like sitting wise I can put my feet up over here on my bay window thing but like the back is so low so it's kind of awkward I don't know I think I'll get used to it More stuff has come in, more upgrades are being done. I just spent the past few hours putting together a new cat tree we got for downstairs, our new nightstand so I can move our old nightstands into our guest room. And now I'm ready to do the rug in the office. I don't know if I'll be able to put it like down by myself. I'll probably have to wait for my husband to get off work, but I'm going to try. And then I'll show you the other stuff and I have something else to put together for the guest room. This is a new rug. 
I was just watching, oh you guys can't even see me. I was watching Rain on Amazon Prime. If you guys haven't seen it yet, I think there's like six seasons. I'm on season two. It is so good. It's like royals, drama, romance, politics. Literally reminds me of my fantasy books I read. In fact, I think it was a book. Maybe I should read the books if it was. Anyways, rug reveal. It matches my office perfectly. Okay, I am thinking it's gonna actually go this way. Even just having it laid out, it's already way less echoey and way more cozy in here. corner you've ever seen in your life adding the rug the chair everything i feel so cozy we are getting closer to actually starting to decorate for fall i have one more thing to put together today and then my last rug gets here monday so i want to show you all the pieces that i got and put together because i put together my entire guest room yesterday so obviously you guys saw me do the rug the chair Office has come together so nicely. And then this is now the guest room. I have been wanting to have this be like an actual guest room because we actually have some guests coming here this fall, family and stuff. So it's a cat room slash the guest room. We have the litter boxes in here, but obviously we'll move those out when we have guests, which it smells so good in here. I cleaned their litters this morning and did some incense and oh my gosh, that's crazy that I'm taking a large breath with a litter box next to me, but that's how good it smells in here. Put together the bed, aligned it more normally, finally got a dresser in here. It's so cute. Like you can't tell me this isn't like the cutest little dresser, especially because I'm not actually going to really put anything in it. I have some extra sheets in here. It would be way too small for an actual dresser, but it's perfect for a guest room. I already had all that on the wall, threw together the bedding, and then brought in our old nightstands. We have a lamp, some decor, and it just turned out really cute. Finally have a rug in here again. Organized all our extra sheets and towels and toilet paper and stuff. And I just, I really like it. So actually if I turn off this light, oh, I got caught on the door. And then you have the LEDs on and the lamp on. It gives such a nice little ambiance. Plus obviously the natural light and I freaking love these curtains. Oh, and then this thing, it's supposed to like be a warmer for your cats, which it's summer. So I don't think they really care, but if they come in here and sit it's supposed to warm up the longer they sit on it i don't really know i saw a tiktok about it but hopefully in the winter they like it i kind of forgot that i have it. so now the guest room is all ready for guests obviously you guys saw the hall rug and then i upgraded our nightstands in our room they're not like the most aesthetic they're just black but i really like how there's like separate shelves and they are a little bit bigger than those other nightstands i put in the guest room honestly the black is giving october it's giving fall so i'm pretty happy with it black wall black sheets black nightstand it's a little bit of a mess i need like a cord organizer but here's the nightstand nightstand tour <laughs> so up top I keep my lamp, which is like a touchy lamp and it has three settings. Um, I got this as a wedding present. Then I have my little alarm clock that makes chirping noises. It's basically like a hatch alarm do. Um, and then it has all these like cute colors. Then we have my mess of cords, but I do like how this nightstand has two regular plugins, two USBs, and then my lamp actually has a plug-in and two USBs as well, so I will never run out of places to plug things in. I have my book I'm reading right now. I also just got this thing. I haven't even used it yet. It's like a little clip because my husband um, gets annoyed when I leave my lamp on all night and fall asleep reading, so now I have a little light to read with. I think it is a little bit bigger than my last nightstand, but even if it's the same size, there's just more like separation. So I don't have to shove everything into one drawer. So I'm really happy about the three drawers. I'm just really excited about this. Sorry I'm like going off about the most basic thing, a nightstand, but I just really love it. Also my bed is really tall because we have those beds that like go up and down. I thought this was gonna be taller. It's not, but this like upper part definitely helps. And then we got a new cat tree. This thing is massive. It was actually cheaper than the other one we have. And it has like, our cats love these little hammocks. It has two of these, 
two of these little things to sit in, two little scratchy ramps. I'm obsessed. The cats have been loving it. Obviously, they're not in it right now, but put it down in my husband's office, which we also did a little remodeling, put my couch down here, and sorry, it's a dungeon. My husband likes to sit in the dark. I don't know why, so there you go. Honestly, I didn't realize how big of a difference just a rug can make. As you can see in my office, that rug made a massive difference. So the rug for the living room does get here Monday. It's gonna be way bigger than this one. It's either the same size or a little bigger than the one in my office, so it should work in here really well. That's gonna completely change up the vibes. And then I have one more piece of furniture to put together for my bedroom. I'm honestly usually a huge hater of putting together furniture, but for some reason this week, it has been hitting. Oh, and also what I said the other day about the show Ray and how I thought it was a book, I still don't know if it was or not, but I actually found out it's based on history, obviously very loosely based, but the Queen of Scotland, Mary, actually did marry the King of France. But in real life, Francis only ruled for about a year and he was like 15 years old. And so there probably wasn't actually like a romantic relationship there at all, like there is in the show. Mary, the Queen of Scotland, became queen when she was like six months old and she actually ended up marrying three different men because they kept dying. <laughs> Uh, and then they were like, there's a lot in the show. I like looked up the actual facts. Pretty much everything is made up, but there are people in the show who did exist. Like her mother-in-law, Francis's mother actually did exist. And it's just really interesting to watch a show loosely based on reality and then look up like what the reality is. So I'm, I'm enjoying it even more now. It's definitely not what I expected. The drawers are like cloth, but it actually is a lot bigger. Like I thought it was smaller than expected, but it's actually bigger than I expected. I don't know how to explain that, but all my husband's clothes fit in this plus a ton of extra room, which granted he doesn't have that many clothes. But anyway, now my room is way more like open vibey. I moved my chair over there and it just feels a lot less cluttered. Feeling great about it. I have all this space over here now. And this is my side of the bed, so it's nice to have more space right here. My cat tree, it's going great. The final piece, as I've said, is the rug for the living room. It actually got here early. It's Saturday. I was supposed to get here Monday. So let's open it up. I hope it matches really well. I think it will with like the vibes of that. Roll it on out. Looking at it right here, I don't know if it's necessarily my favorite, but I feel like once I get it in, it'll look good. couch off and put the carpet down and move the couch on but i did it i decided to go the non-traditional way it is like vertical instead of horizontal because it was coming like all the way out into the walkway and it was just kind of like awkwardly cutting it off so i feel like this is the best way to do it unless i change my entire seating arrangement not gonna do that so it actually works really well now that it's like in place it works really nicely with the artwork so i love it so now that the rug is installed that is all of the furnishing and we can actually move on to decorating and i wanted to show that i moved our old tv into our guest room and got a fire stick for it so now for my guests which i have coming soon they can use the tv now for fall decorating first little fall thing out i also bought this pack of four fall candles from amazon i'm typically more of an incense or essential oils girly but i do love a candle here and there like while I'm reading or something. I've been burning a Christmas candle, so I'm excited for these fall candles. I did already smell them all, but I will show you guys how cute they are. Autumn wreath, I love this one. Cinnamon and pumpkin, apple pie, and harvest season. I think they all smell amazing, but there's a couple I like the most, which I'll put in my office and then give some to my husband for his office. And now I need to pull out all of my other fall decor. <laughs> at recreating the sugar-free pumpkin pie blondie at seven brew because they don't have their fall drinks out yet oh okay yeah that's a lot closer i tried to do this on sunday and i just put pumpkin and it didn't quite hit this time i did pumpkin vanilla and then a little bit of salted caramel you're supposed to use just like regular caramel well actually technically the recipe is supposed to be caramel sauce vanilla syrup and that makes like the blondie syrup and then the pumpkin pie syrup, but I just worked with what I had, so it's pretty good. Mm, yeah, it tastes like fall. 
I also redid my nails to be a more like fall color, getting all ready. I'm gonna shower, get ready, and then I think we actually might go buy a few fall decorations at Hobby Lobby, and then we'll decorate. So I got out all my fall decor and I realized there was like nothing because this is the first fall that I'll actually be living in my house with it fully renovated. Last fall was our wedding and we were still renovating. We hadn't even like boneless decorated my house so we didn't really have any fall decor. I didn't really have much for my apartments. I don't know why I thought I had a ton. I think just cause my natural like decoration tends to have greens and oranges anyway. So I just always feel like I have fall but I got actual fall decor, I'm so excited. Every year I wanna get a few things to be able to like eventually have so much fall decor. Same with Christmas, but obviously we're still a ways away from that. Let's get some ambiance going on the TV. Literally, second suggestion, absolutely perfect. Yay! It's actually a little more chilly today, so hopefully we're actually on our way to fall weather. So I'll give you guys a haul. First I got this pillow. I thought this would be good on my reading chair to add a little fall vibes to that, or just on this chair right here. I don't know. I got a fall drying rack for my kitchen. I spend a lot of time in the kitchen cooking and cleaning, so I want the kitchen to give fall vibes. I got a cute little fall vase, cinnamon sticks. I got a couple of things that have like smells so my house can just smell like fall. A bag of pumpkins, a little orange tree, some candles that are just like battery powered. I got this, I think it's gonna be for the fireplace. Just some pine cones, some orange battery powered candles, two different little pumpkins. This large garland, this little pumpkin garland, and then I got these to actually put in this jar. I also got some candles, but they're already in the kitchen. Oh, and I got these leaves with lights. So I don't have like a for sure plan. I have somewhat of an idea in my head. Let's just start decorating. excited. I think I'm also very excited for reading dark academia fall style fantasy romance books. So if you guys aren't subscribed to my reading channel, make sure to go there. Leaves are starting to turn red and orange. Missouri is so pretty in the fall. So just a few more weeks until it looks like fall and feels like fall. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!